Yeah, what's really was... going on? All his people who are supposed to be doing warehouse shit are editing videos for him. I can see a number of that, but how many warehouse employees can edit videos and do it effectively? Well, that was, that's, I mean, when you put that on your requirements. <laughs> There's a lot of long pauses. Okay, we're probably not going to get through the full 42 minutes, but we're going to... We're going to go through some of these. Um, let's see. The file says, thank you for what you do. You truly have brought joy to the comic book space. Look, that's what it's about. Okay. Um, what a there's a lot of foolishness that happens, but that's not our focus. It's about you guys having fun. And that's what I am. Hyper fun, fun, fun. Till Eric's company dissolves in bankruptcy. I know it's not, it's not quite on, on, yeah. uh, on tempo, but I think it, I think it's got yeah. a, like a promising start. It's more like Focused chapter on. chapter eleven. So if I did misunderstand you there. Um, hold on just a second. I'm looking at the chat over here, by the way. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I feel like there should be like elevator, <laughs> like elevator music. Hold on, <laughs> I'll be right back. No copyright elevator music. Oh, let's see. We're here, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm looking. <laughs> okay. So much better with the I can't, fucking I, I, music. I can't see it. Okay, so it's the first one. You put it's ice on one. Which cover did you get? Oh shit! On he's one? still trying to discover which one it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to replay it a couple times. I added elevator music. Yes, Darkly. Which cover more did you get uh, from my summer? <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Why is it under you? No, we, don't, we didn't have eyes on one CGCs. Uh, so you know you're talking is? about that. This is what it is. The elevator music works so well because it's because he's reading chat and he's not reading out what they're saying. It sounds like you're listening to one side of a phone conversation. It really does. It really does. <laughs> and because it's an elevator music, it just sounds like you're stuck in this elevator with this guy while he's having this really awkward conversation on the phone. It's not it's not even like a conversation you're hearing one side of it. It sounds like you're listening to a guy at Domino's answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, oh, we're trying to get to the bottom no, of this. Uh, we're doing customer service support for those of you that are maybe uh Hi, yes, you've reached the, the Riververse the customer service. Uh, we'd like to thank you for calling in at this point. How can we help you? He said going to the UK, and he's talking about the first one that he spent 140 Well, his first complaint was, um, as we do customer service, says uh, it cost him 144 for ISOM, then we sold it. Uh, he said, uh, he's, I think he's meaning for Problem ISOM. Is, uh, that sale was last week. We don't correctly. have that sale anymore. The guy spent 144 pounds on it. He spent $190 on this fucking horse shit. Hey, honestly, it's kind of on that guy, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I was gonna say, honestly, like, Eric's handling this poorly. That guy kind of, like, you get what you pay for, you know what I mean? <laughs> Stop paying dumb people for their terrible books. Then put it on sale. You know That's what I kind of hope comes out of all this? I kind of hope from here on out, people that do crowdfundings like this, at a certain point, because I know they can't do it immediately, but like a certain point, yeah, like drops like a sample, so you can actually read the book, look at the art style, kind of get a feel for how the book is. Maybe like you, you drop like an early scene from like the beginning of the book or whatever. Something that but they were already teased. doing that. I thought that's what like EDS and then they'll give you like four so, pages and shit. Some of them will, but not a not a lot of them. And you get people like him that didn't do any of it. No, buy my shit. We're fighting the culture war, right? I saw him one and it was uh and it was signed. Hey uh Steven, none of the signed copies were part of the sale. Fuck, it's like he's reading an email about like, the customer complaint. From I saw one. Yeah, Steven, this is uh Eric from the Riververse. Uh yeah, we, it looks here like uh we didn't sell any uh signed copies. Um are you sure you get the right model number? Uh, have you tried restarting your purchase? 
It's like an automated <laughs> response. Yes, hello, <laughs> thank you. We appreciate your business. Um, we haven't, that sale no longer exists. And uh, please explain when and where. Give me the dates to this response. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Oh, shit, that's a glitch. <laughs> But um, we don't. You don't even have to go find it anymore. It's fine. Uh, but either way, that Welcome we to got it clarified for you, and I'm sorry for your confusion there. Um, but you don't have to worry about that collectible yeah, that you were, you were worried about. <laughs> Welcome to Ripaphone. We know you're angry. Please give us time, like three to four months, and we will fix the problem. Call ended. Oh God, what are you doing? You're doing something. Oh. Hi, yes, is this the uh, the Ripa customer support? Yes, uh, because hello. that was not part of the sale. So, uh, uh, I didn't uh, I didn't tell you what I bought yet. Yeah, none of those, none of the sign, but doesn't matter which book that you got signed, it wasn't part of the sale. I didn't, I didn't get anything signed. I'm, I'm calling because my internet stopped working. This is the right. Wait, ri reverse. You guys are on my cocks, right? Do I got the right provider? So yeah. I do? Oh, that's good. Okay. Um can you fix my internet? Look at us. Customer service on the fly. You didn't do nothing! My internet still doesn't work! What the fuck? What is this? We're sorry, the call ended. <laughs> it's a different department. <laughs> we were <dead> <laughs> We're redirecting your call. You've been redirecting Thank to you go fuck loving, yourself. <laughs> Thank you for loving ISOM. We will be with you in a minute. You're now in contact with Gooding Services. $50 a month to have this call answered. <laughs> yes, hello. There are one people waiting. You have a 20 minute wait. <laughs> I see uh, Kara's in the chat. No, I, I saw a good Kara. I got it. I got it under control. This is a guy that came. Uh, um there was some um, confusion there uh and he he just he just was maybe misunder misunderstanding some things what did he misunderstand eric misunderstand where all his fucking money went to or did you drop the shit to five dollars it's fucking cold it's cold-blooded eric cold-blooded edward said what australian uh seven says uh Steven uh 3000's the greater point is somewhat valid though. Um I don't think I don't th I, th I think when that you he stole money from your customers. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty valid point. You do so <laughs> let's pretty... not do that, okay? I think it's uh, dishonest, right? It's like okay, you, you well the guy was on completely my wrong in his assessment and now you now we're trying to extract a point, a general point. No, the point by itself uh was no, we got it resolved. Let's just say that. So yeah, now this yeah. is don't a new point. Don't listen to the because facts. You did promote and sell products as collectibles then then sold them at $5. I, I, what does that mean, if you don't mind, Edward, if you're still in the chat? What exactly what do you mean, mean promote and sell products as collectibles? Um, because... Supply and motherfucking demand, you retard! If the demand does not meet the supply, the supply is not worth as much. Because nobody wants it. So, people... you purposely undermake your supply so that you always have a percentage of people that want it. You keep a small percentage of people wanting it, more people will want it. Because people tend to think alike. They'll, oh, they want that, I want that too. But they can't get it. And then your secondary market will make a shit ton of more money. They can sell their shit for double or whatever the fuck. Yeah, you, you basically became Tesla stock when people were buying at fucking 500. And now it's at... 150. He didn't become Tesla. He's treating ISOM like he's the goddamn Federal Reserve and ISOM's our goddamn currency. <laughs> well, in current year, yes. Absolutely. Look, I know it was worth $40 a month ago, but you know what? I want more money, so it's going to be worth $5 now. Thank you. Call again. Mm. This is too funny. <laughs> this is too funny. The you know what? I gotta, I gotta give you some props. The elevator music makes it fucking amazing. <laughs> it almost makes it artistic, it's right? <laughs> sales, uh, uh, we, we're, sales are gonna happen, okay? Um, oh, thanks. Sales are gonna works. happen, but the print count didn't change. 
The price did you retard? Oh. So from the collectible <laughs> aspect. Actually though, Ken, the, the print count did technically change because he told them that he printed so many and then when he saw how well they were selling, he went and printed more but didn't say that he did. That's how he had all those fucking issues for the $5 sale and for the signature shit. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, smoking another cigarette to this shit. We might have to finish this show in uh, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it gets it. A fucking new R. I knew when this hibbity jibbity walked into my bar, he was bad news. I said, look at that beard. It looks like you got it out of a lit trap of a laundromat in West Palm Beach. He said, Ibbity dibbity, I got comic books coming by. I said, well, you don't seem like you can speak very well, so why would I think that you could write well? And then he called me racist. And broke my window. Why? I don't know. I wasn't even aware I had a window. I had a poster of it for, for years. What? <coughs> It was, a, it was a poster of Bob Saget from House. Burnt popcorn, no water. <laughs> like, I, this story's gone off the rails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's when talking this... about a, a poster from Full House, Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting at the bar when this furry-backed African-American gentleman came in. <laughs> what, what a, a black hippopotamus what, what, sit down next to me. <laughs> what, a, what a suitcase, he said, was full of comic books. I, was like, <laughs> I told him that was a dirty <laughs> laundry. <laughs> like a midget out of urinal, I know I had to be on my toes. <laughs> the sky was full of hibbity jibbity. I could smell it all over, more than just his bits. He said, hey, I'll sell you this for 40. But in like three months, I'm going to sell it to you for five. You can wait that long. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And then I reminded him he's not allowed in this bar for different reasons. <laughs> Of it. I mean, what would be considered, I guess, the reason why it's collectible? It sounds like you're saying the only thing that will make something collectible is the price. It helps. Which, I don't think that's all that makes something... He doesn't understand, like, basic supply and demand. Like, there's no more basic of an idea in economics than supply and demand, and he doesn't understand that. I, I want to say that he's, like, just pretending to be stupid like where he doesn't he understand for so long ken i thought this had to be mostly an act <laughs> he was just shady and and fucking like criminally minded no i think this guy like had to have been just like swept through school to get him out of their class you're here's a c now get the fuck out asshole you can't read but uh our our, our failing margin is so large we just we, we can't have it so you know what uh, you pass. Congratulations. You're the Charlie Day fucking home or, uh, fucking Texas. I don't... We like, had that I, in my school. They, like, they wouldn't let people fail. It didn't matter if you had, like, F grade, you never showed up. It was like, uh, we look really bad. We get a certain amount of money when people pass. So, guess what? You pass. Here's your, here's your certificate. I, I went to school in Texas. I know, like, how they just kind of sweep, like, some of the, you know... When you we'll call them football games <laughs> through school, so I just please get the fuck out of my class. Just, I want to deal with you. You're a pain in the ass. I hate every moment having to deal with you. Please mm -hmm. just go. Just yeah, go. I was in New Jersey. I had the same thing. Yeah. So like, I don't know. Like, how are you this stupid and legitimately like this is a legitimate question? I'm not even being like sarcastic or mean here. How are you this utterly dumb and graduated high school? Like, you were in a suburb of Dallas. Those schools ain't that bad. It's a conveyor belt. They can't let certain demographics fail. It's not on the menu. You're not allowed to fail if uh, you look a certain way. Eric July is, like, a key example of why no kid left behind is a stupid fucking idea. 100% agree. Something co a collect just because you spend X amount of money on it makes it a collectible i don't think that's how it that's how it works no the scarcity of the fucking item oh my god this guy's a, a what say say it let the evil flow through you i can't ken i want to keep this channel on the good graces of youtube
Why? Maybe on we a made, paywall. We made a dollar fifty tonight. Why? What's this go for? <laughs> maybe, maybe on behind the paywall on Rumble when I feel free. No, he's just—he's one of the dumbest people alive, and I—I I don't understand how he's gotten as far as he has. You know, everybody says that, but he gives me hope. If you're this stupid and this inept and this lack of fucking ability can make but that kid, amount of money, if everyone's this dumb and you do something brilliant, they think you're the stupid one. That's the argument in his head. <laughs> that's what he thinks. No, that's head. reality. The whole world's gone this stupid. So if someone does something actually smart or clever or considerate of the future in any facet, they're like, huh, moron, you fucking dumb piece of shit. No, I get that. But in his head, I'm just so smart. I'm so brilliant. These dummies don't know how smart I am. That's what's I mean, sucking yeah, around that's his exactly little... That's exactly what he thinks. ...fucking squirrel brain. That's exactly what he thinks. <laughs> so There's smart. the only way he could do this to be like this squirrely, this full of shit. This lack of talent and <laughs> still be going on. You know what this tells this me? Look, this this level of unchecked just arrogance and stupidity tells me. Go on. High probability raised by a single mother, especially a black one. Well, I think it's already been established. Yeah, I don't know if I don't has anybody actually established that as fact? I I know he didn't grow up without his uh, great 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 grandfather, because you know uh, <laughs> he met the guy that was died a hundred <laughs> years before he's born. <laughs> Who had a great impact on him. <laughs> Big impact on him. We tell stories. Remember my great great grandpappy? I saw him punched a, a walrus right in the face. Took both he his got, teeth and made into a comb. He got thrown into a crowd into a white woman who put, punched him into a car. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out <laughs> grandpappy I saw him was, the, uh, was who Boo Bradley was <laughs> based on. <laughs> I remember when great grandpappy I saw him had to spend an entire week in jail because they thought he raped a white woman. And a nice lawyer, a white lawyer defended him. His two children were really weird. <laughs> and the excuse was, some white people threw me into another white person I landed on a car. They're like, that's not even possible. All right, we're going to skip about halfway through the video here. And the Please. Ultramac, the Creator Edition cover, were not part of the sale. So therefore, you're saying that I sold cover C as a collectible that will retain value, whatever that means, because I never, I never would claim any of that, anything to the nature of like that either way banging your head on a fucking but you're, refer you're over, referring to a, a cover over. that we explicitly he would never claim anything would be... he has has value and he does have value. <laughs> well he's trying to claim that cover c the one that is obviously all just 3d assets um is their mass print edition that's the one they'll keep reprinting every time you reprint it it loses that's a, value you asshole. well it's a different printing run there is the mass print is just the one you make the most of so I think it was cover A. So technically cover A is really your mass print. Like, he doesn't understand. He could keep making money off of selling ISOM 1 and 2 if he would just give him new covers every year. Do like two new covers. Boom. Add some fucking bullshit to the end. Pat it out a little bit. This fucking rip tarts eat that shit up. But no, he's not even smart enough to rip these people off properly. Yeah. No, he has so much extra product. You know, it's five bucks. It's five bucks now. I don't give a shit. Get it out of my warehouse. These guys are doing nothing. They're building forts. Uh. mass printed and reprinted forever so there i think your confusion maybe was, was similar to the other guy where you didn't you didn't properly everybody's go confused. through and, everybody's and confused look except things, you eric look through what was retard. actually being sold and and uh, i'm confused am i confused I don't know, maybe you're watching people that are saying maybe. things ken i'm confused am i confused or are you confused or is he confused one of us here is confused and i'm confused as to which one it is I'm uh, not confused how money works. So, Do you understand the supply and demand? I understand when you have a supply <laughs> here, and demand. Here, Eric, I'll, I'll explain to you very simply. If I have four people who want marbles, I'm only going to get three marbles. Or I'll do all four and just give, give everybody the marbles they want. And then they go off and tell the people, I have marbles. People come back and go, oh, do you have marbles? No, I ain't got marbles no more. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll have some marbles again in the future. Okay, they'll go off and tell me, oh, he, he did have marbles. Maybe he'll get some in the future. Oh, they'll come out. Hey, you got any marbles yet? Nope. That's called demand. And then when enough demand hits, I go, oh, I, I got some more marbles. Who wants marbles? I don't go. There's four people that want marbles. So I'm going to buy 25 fucking marbles and hope that I get another. Because they're going to be like, why this guy has so many marbles? <laughs> it's It's just, it's... Just read a book. I have lost my marbles, probably. That are just objectively false. <laughs> it was a very good analogy, Ken. Was it? Yes. 
gotta have the right number of marbles for that. I feel like, you, I feel like you started with something and then you're like, oh god. And then the marbles ask marbles. you if you ever think about space, and you gotta, you know. Uh, don't go back to space. Take space the marbles things. back to their home, and they of the earth. Hey, Nonetheless, <laughs> covers A. This is the bottom line. Cover A, cover B, and the creator's edition of ISOM number one were not part of that sale. Why did it take print. you so long to come to it's a Because he's waiting for them to respond in chat like a fucking psychopath. Oh my God. So long. Oh, uh, here comes Yellow Flash to defend him. Fake comic fans are very concerned. It's going to fluctuate. Picture fucking Yellow Flash, like how fat and fucking nerdy he is. Dude, Yellow Flash literally ripped off like the most basic bitch, like kind of sidekick. Or not even sidekick. He. he, he, he didn't want to do Flash, so he did Reverse Flash. Because Reverse Flash is ultimately cooler than Flash. The bad guy <laughs> version is always just going to be cooler. But you couldn't even come up with an original, like, screen name. You went with Yellow Flash. I can't get struck with this. Yellow Flash. Oh, why are you Yellow Flash? I like comic books. Okay. Cool. My Flash has got white hair. <laughs> <laughs> Price. Especially that one. No, it's it's not a Power Ranger. It's a Egyptian uh god thing in World War II um with the robots. And he helped save the Jews. It like his premise for his comic sounds like someone pulled a gun on him and said, Come on, what the fuck now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Egyptian Power Ranger robots? World War II? <laughs> Did I survive? <laughs> Are you gonna shoot me? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. De <laughs> Ninja, like, oh, we're gonna punch Nazis <coughs> with a Power Ranger suit and a, a fucking Egyptian theme somehow. Right now, it's on the second price drop. By the way, if, if for you guys that if maybe if you missed out on the five dollar sale, it is on the second price drop. Um, I saw one cover C. That's not good, you idiots. It's a mass. You're print. admitting you're it as a mass in value. print copy, meaning that I will if it sells. Two million copies. We will reprint it again for five bucks. <laughs> that's your that's your ceiling and now. It was sold as that <laughs> fucking idiot. But that we we have a mass print copy of each book that we release for Isom One. It was cover C. Whoever made more than five dollars for your book now, you Alpha moron. Core and Isom Two. It was cover D. They all are mass prints. They all are mass print sales. Everyone. I mean, they're all are mass print books. Each one of those, and they're going to fluctuate in price. No. You set the ceiling, buddy. Five bucks. That's it. That's what it is now. It's the ceiling and the floor. <laughs> like, once you set your, your price for your book, that should be what the price of the book is. Yup. Maybe in the next what book, you, you figure out a way to cut the cost, and you got prices down a little bit. Okay. But the $35 books should always be $35. Unless you, like, you could do, like, a, a small sale, I guess. But, like, dropping it down to $5 is just... You're kicking your legs out underneath your own feet. Like, you, you're literally shooting yourself in the foot here. Yeah, it's... It, I don't understand how he doesn't see that. Because he's what we, that, we call in the business stupid. I get that. I don't understand how you're this stupid. And how you think your fans are going to follow you or keep buying your shit when you just completely screwed over the people that have been supporting you for like two or three years now. Because he's completely insulated himself with people that are just yes men. Like, I... I don't know, maybe it's the Irish in me that I just want people around me that are gonna call me dumb and like tell me my ideas are stupid, so I try to make them better. Yeah, I get that. Like, well, I mean, it, it would be too overbearing, but like, you know, like ah, that's dumb. Okay. You, nah. I don't need I don't need you to fucking walk around my feelings. Just tell me something's dumb. Yeah, I, when I get compliments, I get all weird, and it, it, I don't like it. It makes me feel weird. Yeah, I don't really care for compliments either. That's why we've never given each other a compliment ever. <laughs> Fuck you, kid. Right? Thank you. <laughs>